Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're diving into Lightroom Classic, but not as you know it. Today, we're gonna to be using a platform called Imogen AI to edit all of our photos, and you guessed it, we're gonna be using some AI goodness. Imogen AI is an AI-based platform that edits your photos for you like that. It speeds up your workflow like crazy, and it does its best to make sure you keep a consistent edit through all of your shots. And by the way, just before we dive into this video, if you do want to test out Imogen AI, go to the link in the description below. You can get 1,500 images edited for free, no strings attached. It's a pretty cool deal. So just before we head into Lightroom and get this video started, I wanted to run you through why I think this is such a cool idea and platform, especially for beginner editors. What you do is you take a Lightroom catalog full of photos that you want edited, you upload it to Imogen's platform, and then boom, it edits the photos for you. You then download the Lightroom catalog and boom, just like that, all your photos are edited, but the best part is, is that you can see all the settings that were changed and how exactly they got the looks that they did. And this is super powerful. But before it edits the photos, you get to choose a few things. You get to choose if it's going to crop, if it's going to straighten your images, if it's going to use masking, and what profile you want to use. Imogen currently has a load of talent profiles, which means people have come onto their platform, uploaded a whole load of images, so the AI can replicate that style and edit other photos like it. So let's get into Lightroom and let's get this video started. So as you can see here, we are inside of Lightroom and I've seen a load of other videos covering Imogen AI and nine times out of 10, they're editing things like events and weddings. And I think that's great, but to be honest with you, I really want to put this AI tool to the test. So I've got a whole load of landscape images from all over the world, shot on all different cameras. We've got drones, we've got the Canon R5C, we've got the Canon R5, no, the R6, and we've got the Canon 5D Mark IV in here. So this is hopefully going to really stress this out. And the cool thing about it is you get to choose what profile you want used on your photo. So for example, if you wanted a cleaner look to your shot, you can choose a talent profile that has a cleaner look, or you can actually upload your own images so that AI can learn how to edit like you. The only thing is to create a really solid profile, you do need 3000 edited photos. And chances are, if you're a beginner learning how to edit photos, you're not gonna have these 3000 photos in one style. But to get started with this, and chances are you're gonna wanna do this too, I'm just gonna use one of their inbuilt talent profiles that someone else has uploaded those whole 3000 photos and AI's learned how to edit like them. So as you can see here, I've opened up Imogen AI and if I head over to AI profiles and then into talent AI profiles, you can see the profiles that other people have uploaded and created and the AI now knows how to edit like them. And pretty much what you can do here is just choose the look and style you wanna go for. You just hit use to edit and you're on your way. So the profile I'm gonna be using today is clean and crisp because to be honest with you, I love the sound of it. So once you hit use this profile, we are going to then select what type of photos we have in here. Of course, all of ours are landscape and nature. And then this is where we're going to upload our Lightroom catalog. So I've got my test Lightroom catalog right here. I'm just gonna drag and drop that into Imogen AI and here we go. So first things first, I'm gonna make sure crop and straighten are selected. I think these are two super important things and hey, while AI is editing your photo, you might as well get it to do all of the work. I'm not gonna get AI to add any masks to my shot, so I'm happy with the settings here. If you do have a whole load of photos in your Lightroom catalog, but you only want them to edit, let's say the non-edited photos or the one star, the five star photos, whatever it may be, you can add these in here, but I've only got 20 photos in this Lightroom catalog and I want it to edit them all. So I'm now gonna select this guy right here and name this project Imogen AI test, as this is going to be a very interesting test. Hit upload. And now the AI works, it's magic. So one of the coolest parts about Imogen is how fast it edits your photos. The thing that's gonna take the longest here is uploading and downloading the catalog because of my internet speed, which to be honest with you, blows my mind. And there we go, Imogen has finished editing our photos. So we're gonna hit download to review, we're gonna hit download edits, and then do keep in mind that this will overwrite any edits that you already had on your photos inside that Lightroom catalog. But because there were no edits on this, we're gonna hit continue, and now we're gonna download our catalog. And straight from Imogen, we can hit open Lightroom catalog so we're gonna let Lightroom open up and now we get to see exactly what the AI was able to do so it's gonna take a little while to upload or well not upload but add these edits to the images let's hit the develop tab and let's go through them so as you can see on the right hand side here we have got all of our settings have been changed and the best part about this like I said in the beginning is you can see exactly how they got their results which is super super interesting because you can go through here and you know you can change like mm, maybe the blues are a little too strong I'm just gonna reduce the blues a little bit done happy with the edit so anyway let's dive through all of the photos we're just gonna go through a little bit before and after. So as you can see here, this has definitely brightened up this scene just a little bit. And I might come in here and just add a little bit more of a boost to the shadows. 
and more or less we're good to go. And then we can see here as well, this shot of this castle. It's just been brightened up a little bit. It's looking clean and crispy. I'm happy with this edit, as you can see before and after. This guy right here, it's probably still a little bit too bright, but the best part is we just come in here, drop the exposure a little bit. And as you can see, it has been cropped, but to be honest, I'd probably like a little bit of a tighter crop and boom, just like that. And this is so much more of a faster way to edit. As you can see here before, and after, things are looking pretty good. Let's have a look at the crop as well. Maybe a little bit straighter. More or less, we're good to go there. I'm happy with that edit. Onto this one as well. This I don't think has absolutely nailed it. It's a bit too purplish, but to be honest with you, like I said, all of the talent profiles they have on Imogen AI more or less cater towards portraits and event style stuff. Things, of course, will change and develop over time, and it's still really cool to go and see this. And of course, you can upload your own photos, but yeah, for a shot like this that was shot about three years ago on a Mavic 2 Pro with not the greatest lighting conditions, it still hasn't done poorly. It hasn't really I got an idea of what crop it needs to use here. As you can see, this was a three stitch panorama photo. So it's still got a few of those white bars in there, but we can easily change that just like this. And maybe it's just a little bit too purple for my liking. We're going to just change the white balance ever so slightly. You got to remember as well, it does take a long time for AI to learn these things. And then we've got this shot here, boom, before and after. I actually love these tones. And more or less, it has absolutely nailed it. We've gone through a shot here of a lake, a castle, some mountains. We've got a palm tree here. We have got the absolute works. And in my opinion, it has nailed these edits. Even looking at this one right here before and after, things are looking good. Now, the other crazy thing we've got to keep in mind here is how fast it was able to do this. For me to edit 20 photos quite in depth, especially of this kind of style, it's gonna take me a solid hour at least. But with Image and AI, it did it in about a minute. Of course, it's not as in-depth as I personally would go, but it definitely gets a solid base on all of your photos out of the gate, and then boom. From there, you could add presets, you could add more masking, you could adjust your crop, adjust your white balance, whatever the case, export, and you're good to go. So guys, that pretty much wraps up my review of Imogen AI. I think it's a solid platform, especially for event shooters, wedding shooters, portrait shooters. I think it's got a little bit of room to grow and develop, especially in the landscape and nature side of things. But with time, like I said, AI just takes time to grow. So with time, this is gonna get so much better and I cannot wait to see where it's going to go. And the more people that use this, the faster it's gonna learn, snowballs from there. And guys, once again, if you do wanna go check Imogen out and have a little bit of a play around, you can do so using the link in my description. You're gonna get 1,500 free photo edits, 1500 edits for free. Kind of crazy, right? And they're just about to launch their one terabyte cloud storage if it goes along with any of their plans. So yeah, terabyte of cloud storage definitely doesn't go astray, especially in this industry. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.